turn, ask you to turn with me in your word to the book of Luke, chapter number two. Say amen. We're going to begin reading here starting at verse number one. If you have it, would you let me know by standing to your feet so I know that you have it, please. Amen. God says, and it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone unto his own city. And Jesus also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and the lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. You may rest off of your feet. I want to certainly focus on verse number seven in this text. The word of God says, and she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the end. And I want to use for this brief text this morning, make room for Jesus. Make room for Jesus. I don't know about you, but we're living in a time where there have been people who have forgotten about Jesus Christ. We see that all over our news media. We see that all in our papers. There's no fear anymore of God. There's no reverence anymore that God even exists. We've taken God out of everything. We've taken God away from everything. And we look at the devastation in our world and in our country. We see that our world is slowly crumbling and slowly being destroyed because we've forgotten about God. And we need to know and understand that according to the word of God, the Bible tells us that the government is upon his shoulder. The world is upon his shoulder. And so I wanna share with you this morning that we don't have room enough in our hearts to make room for Jesus. And it has been 2022 years since Jesus was born and laid in the manger, in a barn, born in a trough. This place is a place that you feed animals from because the people didn't make room for him, amen, and his parents who went with him to the end. And guess what? Many people today are still not making room for him today. Why? Because some are too busy. Some are putting their careers ahead of Christ. Some are making more money than they ever dream of ahead of Christ. And others are too busy with their families and their friends. Then there are those who like to travel. And they're traveling, amen, and moving and shifting, amen, on every plane, in every airport, amen, by every means necessary but they don't have time for Jesus. 